You don't know if your name is Melinda Tentris? Of course I know my name is Melinda Tentris, dunce. And I also know my husband's name and how old we are and where we live. The street, the number, and the city. I have a breathtaking grasp of things. How long have you been married? Robert and I have been married for three tumultuous, passionate, Scheherazade years. Your husband must be remarkable for his age. He's remarkable for any age. He was still 59. 59? Ass! That was my first husband. Robert is 31. Oh. Uh, what was your first husband's name? Lord Percy Moorpark. Poor, fumbling old, rich thing. But you heard a witness testify to having seen you on the London docks on the night of November 14th, consorting in secret with a known enemy of the Crown. He lied! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. I'm so glad you interrupted. I cannot bear this trial another minute. What, what are you in trial for? Oh, please. Very well, never mind. You were going to tell me about an incident when Winnie Wayne Whistle finds something for you. Yes. It was the day I first met Robert. What a glorious day it was. Where are you? Where we met. The Royal Pavilion at Brighton three years ago. Because at once. Hmm? Oh. Harry. Now look. Look directly across the lawn. Do you see Diana Smallwood? Uh, unmistakably Diana Smallwood. Who is that with her? Robert Tentries. What does he do? As little as possible. Joseph Pelham was complaining about him the other day. He knows Tentry's father and gave the boy a position. Maritime insurance. Uh, you know. Uh, ships at sea. Is he married? No, but he should have been many times. And he will be soon. I can't wait to hear how you arrange that. Oh, 
with every breath and every sigh till your every lover's wish is fulfilled before it's made. Toss in some jealousy and doubt, should it be required, not rest till there's nothing more. been so delectably treated as they were tonight with your extraordinary salmon mousse. Served with cream and vin rouge sauce, garnished with truffles and exotic herbs. You seem to know this woman. Who is she? Winnie Wayne Whistle. <laughs> Do you have a name for this, uh, if, if I may be allowed a Gallic pun, this chef d'oeuvre? <laughs> yes, with pleasure. Your Royal Highness, with your permission. I humbly christen Samon Prince Regent. Oh, no. <laughs> my chef! Yes, my chef! Melinda, Mum! <laughs> Is that your mother? Yes. How are you, Melinda? Mum, did you ever hear of Robert Entries? Robert Tentries? He's not your kind, Melinda. Hasn't got a halfpenny to his name. Oh. Here, I've got something for you. What? Your locket. Cool! Where'd you find him? Under the ambassador's night table. Mm. <laughs> well, that's a bit of luck. What about this Robert Tentries? Is he here tonight? Mum, Mum is here. And I met him, and I love him, and I'm going to marry him. Marry him? But you've got a husband. I'll divorce him. Oh. And don't you worry about us not having any money in two years' time. I'll make Robert Tentries one of the richest men in England. Oh, that good for nothing. How in the world do you expect to make the likes of... No. No, Melinda. Don't misuse your talents, please. Or oh, God knows in how many lifetimes you'll be paying for it. What talents? What is she talking about? Well, there you are, my lady. Thank you. Thank you. Every breath and every sigh Till your every lover's wish Is fulfilled before it's made Toss in some jealousy and doubt Should it be required Not rest till there's nothing more Just how do you expect to get a divorce? I'm going to be caught red-handed, dearie. That's how. Caught red-handed. 